Hi students, today we are going to work on our animal moves a little bit more and then um, later on in the week we'll start working on some balancing. So when we're talking about balancing in physical education, we are talking about being able to keep control over our body and putting um, equal weight on whichever body part is touching the ground and not falling over. So you need to keep control of your body. You can't fall over, you can't get all crazy. My um, speech, if you will, um, we need to be super safe. Safety is number one. So I really, really, really need you to keep control of your body during this activity. So I'm going to call out different animal moves and you are going to do different animal moves. I will do some of them with you. I won't do some of them with you. It just depends. But I want you to make sure. So if you only have this much space, do the best you can. If you have a little more space, I want you to make sure that your personal space bubble isn't going to run into anyone or anything. And I want you to make sure you're not disturbing anyone who's working. So if you're um, somebody at your house is working or someone's doing um, a test or homework or whatever and they need it to be quiet then you might have to wait a little bit because you're moving around and it might be distracting and like I said before personal space don't get so silly and you need to be safe all right so we are going to start off with moving like a horse, so you're going to gallop. I want you to make sure that sometimes you switch your lead foot. So the foot that's in front, you switch. I want you using both sides of your body. So if one side is harder than the other one, so this one, I'm putting my right foot forward. If my right foot's super easy, I might want to do more with my left, even though it's harder. I want this one to be equal to my other side. It's important that both sides of your body get used. All right, great. Now I want you to run or walk, however much room you have, like a doggy. Like a dog. So on your hands and knees. Now you're going to move like a kitty cat. 
You can meow if you want to. You can make the animal sound. Arch your back up. Arch your back down. Oh, he kept stretching. Up. Down. All right, keep going. Be a kitty cat.